in, oh, in yes. Yes. So what am I really saying? I'm saying that you are not defeated, but you have victory. Yeah. I'm saying that you are above and not beneath. I'm saying that you are the head and not the tail. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed when you go. And you're blessed when you come in. And no matter what you're going through, it may look like the enemy has the upper hand. But I come to tell you that the word of God says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, do you love him? Do you love him? Well, if you love him, you will keep his commandments. And if you don't know where they are, you can find them in Exodus chapter 20. All right. Amen. Amen. All right, now. I'm going to jump over to verse 35. Verse 35 says, Who shall separate us yes. from the love of Christ? Yes. Shall tribulation, yes. or distress, yes. or persecution, yes. or famine, yes. or nakedness, yes. or peril, which is danger, yes. or sword? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Uh -huh. Listen, you're going to have to go through some trials. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to go through some tribulation. Yeah. Can I share something with you? Yes. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. <laughs> but I don't believe that he brought me this far right. to leave me. Right. You've got to understand, although I must go through tribulation, That's right. although I must go through trial, yeah. I still understand yeah. that it's all working together for my and somehow, some way, yes. something good is yes. coming out of yes. what you're going through. Uh -huh. And that's why you got to stop complaining, uh -huh. you got to stop crying about it, yeah. and you got to square up your shoulders yeah. and recognize God is going to get the glory yeah. for what I'm going through. Oh, how many of y'all going through yeah. How many of you going through a trial? Yeah. But I've come to tell you that the trying of your faith is more
It says, for I am persuaded. Uh -huh. What does the first word say? Why? It says, for I am persuaded. Yes. That means I'm thoroughly yeah. convinced. Yeah. Totally. That means I am totally yeah. convinced yeah. that God has the strength yes. and the power to bring me out of every situation. Yes. I'm still here. Yeah. That means that I'm thoroughly convinced, persuaded yes. that nothing that the devil comes up with can separate me from the love of Christ. Yeah. I'm reminded of a conversation that Jesus had with Simon. All right. Jesus said, Simon, the devil desires to have you and to sift you as we. He says, but I'm praying that your faith fails you not. Yes. Your yes. faith, yes. when you are persuaded, you're standing on faith. Right. Faith, the substance of things uh -huh. and the evidence of things not seen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody clap their hands yes. and help me announce my testimony and say, I am For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come will separate me from the love of Christ. Hallelujah. Let's talk about the loss of a loved one when death comes to separate you. But even through death, the Spirit of God will comfort you and give you strength and courage. I'm reminded. My granddaddy, but when my granddaddy died, my love for him did not die with him. When my brother was killed, my love for him didn't die with him. When all my cousins died, my love for them still remains in my heart. I still love my uncle. Hallelujah. When you die, that death did not separate me from my loved ones. Hallelujah. Nor angels.
Jesus. Yeah. Did I say Jesus? 